Welcome back to window shopping. <laughs> Today we make an attempt to cut off the head of the Hydra itself and dive deep into the fast fashion juggernaut that is Fashion Nova. Unlike brands like Shein and Pretty Little Thing, I actually do shop from Fashion Nova occasionally. Um, I do apologize for that notes app apology on its way, just looking over the final draft. I had a very affirming experience with Fashion Nova in the wake of my breast reduction two years ago, where I bought a bunch of two, well, two. I bought two tube tops from Fashion Nova, and I'd never been able to wear a tube top before because I used to have 42 H cup bazoingos, and it was really nice, and I still have them and wear them from time to time. But you know, let's not give Fashion Nova too many cookies because I've never gotten a pair of jeans from them that wasn't weird in some way. Goddess 88, that's my favorite basketball team too. Fashion Nova is also a little notorious for heavily photoshopping their models and just using models with, I guess we'll say, not the most widely applicable, relatable body type. Now let's set a ground rule right now, everyone. This is a very anti-plastic surgery shaming comment section and I want us to all behave accordingly, okay? I just absolutely smacked my front teeth with my metal straw. Jumping right into things, we have beige and very little else. This is a great color for if you wanna look like a melted lemon popsicle in the dead of summer. I have to say, these aren't that bad. I had a lot of people request that I do Fashion Nova, and I thought like, yeah, I've experienced Fashion Nova before. This is gonna be a no brainer. But like a lot of this stuff is just short and tight, which does not automatically make something bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> this dress kind of looks like if a Singer sewing machine and a 80s prom dress got into an absolute fall down bar fight cage match brawl and this is what the ensuing result was. This looks like it was a regular normal dress that a dressmaker put together and then they drank some sort of potion that made them undergo a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde transformation and they woke up in the dead of night and just started attacking it with needles and thread and made this happen. Why exactly these shoes Fashion Nova? Why these ones in particular? This is the change to this feeling midi dress. I tell you what, this probably sounds horrifying in a washing machine. You put this dress in a washing machine, you're gonna think you've got a bunch of skeletons trying to break into your house with all that rattling afterwards, my God. You know, looking at it in the chestnut colorway, this is kind of giving me very much like sexy cave woman Halloween costume. You know what, hold on. Like, God, this is, I hate that this is a genre. These are all so ugly. We're on currently the number one site for sexy apparel. I would go nowhere less, nowhere that didn't have these qualifications. Like, look at this dress, okay? And now it's not a huge step. You put on like one animal print article of clothing, you're halfway there. So if you wanna spend $50 to be halfway to an already tacky Halloween costume, Fashion Nova has got you. Fashion Nova's the plug. Can we get Miss Girl shoes that fit her? The bandana mood. What exactly is a bandana mood? Fashion Nova, I need to know what a bandana mood is because I don't know if I've ever been in one. Being in a bandana mood is when you just really want to do yard work. If you have a lot of faith in the stability of your own body parts, this dress is adorable. This is just like a little Tinkerbell moment. I think this is really cute. Would I ever wear, could, could I ever wear this? That's the question. Would I wear this? Yeah. Could I wear this? Mm, I'd have to duct tape a lot of stuff into place, definitely, in, in anticipation, but I would. Oh my God, she has gathered all of her thoughts into this ponytail. I know this poor girl's head hurt. Mother of pearl. This is so cool. I love the cut of this dress, but this is not a dress. This is a test against God. This is a test to see if there is a God. <laughs> she looks so good. This color is amazing. Oh my God. Here's my hot take. Perfect wedding dress. The bust cuts of a lot of these dresses. How, what hosiery do you even wear with something like this? Scaffolding? Oh my God. Fashion Nova really said it's time to try defying gravity. Oh my God. How do you even like, make something like this work <laughs> for your personal chest. I'm asking. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my God. I feel bad about myself. <laughs>
I think to model for Fashion Nova, you do have to uh, take a quiz at NASA to gauge whether or not you actually are tethered to this earth by the forces of gravity. This is not a dress. This is a threat. Oh my God, what are these reviews? What superheroes actually bought this? <laughs> This dress looked so good on me, but my tits kept popping out. I'm a 36B, so I would recommend this dress for someone with- I'm sorry, what? We're all seeing this phrase, right? Um, big boobs. <laughs> Ciao. Anyways, so speaking as a representative of that community, I've got four words for you. Not now, not ever. Four additional words. I wish, but never. Oh. Hell yes. I love this. God damn it, I love fringe. I wanna buy this dress and I wanna wear it with the biggest, pinkest, rhinestoniest cowboy hat that money can buy. Can you imagine doing the hoedown throwdown in this dress? <sighs> yeehaw. Absolutely yeehaw. I'm gonna do the two step and cowboy boogie because your sweetheart and man out. We this is innovative. This is. <laughs> This is another dress that is a threat. She looks so good. I don't love this with a black nail, but I'll allow it. How do you just exist comfortably in this dress? And I know that Fashion Nova does not make clothes for people who want to be comfortable. Fashion Nova makes clothes for people that want to be sexy. I grasp that, but like I, as a person, can only be made uncomfortable by one part of my outfit before I have to like just peel my skin off, you know? So I can't imagine wandering around in a dress that I'm feeling uncomfortable in because my arms are fused to the bodice of my dress and because it's a strapless dress, so it's gonna be sliding down the entire night. And if I shimmy my hips the wrong way, everybody's gonna see my Chico and the man. Even hitting this pose, I feel like if you're at the wrong angle in reference to this girl, you're seeing a whole laser light show, if you know what I mean. I will say this, if you do find a way to shield the masses from seeing your Nile River Delta, this probably looks so cool to dance in. Oh! Okay, you know what? Everything I just said about this, I take it back. I do want this dress now and I think it'll be fine. Now see this staging where you can't see that the other slit is here. My God, this dress is positively demure, but oh, she's got secrets. She's got secrets, all right. Oh, word. Wait, this is so hot and black. You know what? You know what? No, 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 Nisa, no, no. There's nothing objectively wrong with this dress, but this girl's pose and facial expression is giving me less glamazon and more, this is the 30th too tight dress you've made me put on today. Can I please take a five? Baby, call your union rep. You look like if they make you put on one more spaghetti strap, you're gonna get the strap and end some lives. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, work, bitch. I do think this slit is a little high up, not because I think it makes the dress too short. It's just like, I don't want to see this much of the inner lining of the dress. It's distracting, stylistically. Just a brief departure for the Fashion Nova and Limited 2 collab. What is this justice shit? This is like, <laughs> compared to everything else on this site, conservative. I like it. <laughs> I think it's cute. This is the kind of dress that like I would have wanted to wear to school in like 2011. You know what this dress kind of is? Okay, let me paint a picture for you. This is the kind of dress that the artsy girl in your class wears to prom. Been a lot of time in the art department and like wore scarves and dated a theater guy. You know, that girl, her name was probably like Natasha, Nora with an H, you know what I mean? They always wore a dress to prom that was just a step out of sync with everyone else's prom dress. This kind of dress, but from mod cloth, you know, that's what she wears. It's not the floor length taffeta nightmare from David's bridal, okay? <laughs> this is cute. This is really... Hmm. I'm sorry, what? What in the fifth element? Jean-Paul Gaultier, sweetie, I am so sorry. I love the staging of this photo. This model has this very sort of natural, ethereal look to her. She's got the thicker brows, her hair is very natural looking, her makeup's pretty minimal. And then she's in this like figure skating Vegas showgirl costume with sequins and sparkles and this belt. <laughs> you know, you'd expect her to be in this dress, right? The red one we just looked at. And instead she's... <laughs> in the epic night sequin dress. I think this dress is 
hideous. <laughs> like maybe we don't need the faux wrap skirt and the belt and the little loop and the single exposed bikini half. Maybe we just pick one of these things to feature, you know? More like um, Ant-Man and the WAP. Let's look at the 90s style section. According to Fashion Nova, everybody in the 90s was wearing these little tops with nothing under them. As I've explained before, I'm not a 90s baby. I was born in the 90s, but I was not looking at fashion magazines then. I wasn't looking at any magazines. I was busy shitting myself. Damn, I had a lot of tacky butterfly clothing in the early 2000s, and now I really wish that I hung on to it because I didn't realize it was gonna come back this hard. Fashion Nova, just because something has butterflies on it does not make it a 90s fashion. I know I just said that I don't really know what people were wearing in the 90s because I was a baby, but something tells me most people were not walking around in mock neck, long sleeve, bodycon, all over printed midi dresses. You know, I have to say, some of these butterfly things are veering dangerously close to like, zoo gift shop territory. Like I really feel like I could buy this Stitch Franklin Park Zoo Butterfly Day 2004 or something on here and just like drop it at any thrift store and people would be like, oh my God, is this vintage? I don't know what this says. Crap Bay? Wait, <laughs> I'm genuinely asking, does that say crap bay? Trap bay. That's so much stupider. You know what would be better if they said like Museum of Science 2007 or something. That would be cool with this half butterfly wing and the paint spatters. I could definitely see chubby seventh grade me wearing this at field day. Maybe it's you. Yeah. I like that when you go to the Fashion Nova men's side, this becomes blue so you don't get confused <laughs> and accidentally buy lady clothes. That'd be humiliating. Listen, I'm in a math class right now and I've been up against some pretty confusing equations, but karma divided by is a bitch. I don't really know how to approach this one. What are we solving for? Oh, yes. Why does this, like this sentence sticks like grits. I don't understand why every, who is, I have never seen a person in actual real life wearing a rosé all day shirt, but with how often I see them making these fucking videos, you'd think that they were all anyone wore. Like it's a national uniform or something. Like we're in some 70s dystopian movie where everyone wears the same thing. Oh, this is kind of cute in the actual peach color. <laughs> Other people can see these, right? These are real. It's, I'm not just hallucinating this. This sweatshirt actually says rosé all day. God, what a terrifying illness that would be. Can you imagine if you had a sickness where everything about how you perceive the world was the same, except anytime there were words on a t-shirt, you read it as rosé all day. Oh, that's so scary. Note to self, pitch new Twilight Zone episode to the sci-fi channel. Nature is calling. Outdoor expedition. Wildlife. The great adventure. Nature is calling us. <laughs> what? Just like any outdoor expedition? Just like in general? <laughs> that is so funny. This is very transparently Fashion Nova trying to capitalize the very much waning Visco girl, big vintage dad thrift store t-shirt trend where you just put on like a big old tie-dye t-shirt that your uncle got in like 2001 at some sort of rest stop in the Adirondacks or something. But I'm not falling for it because this is too vague. There's not even a location on it. I love that. It's just nature, period. Lied, meat, tie, Odin. Alexa, block his number. What? Is this like specifically for people named Alexa? Oh, the Amazon thing. Her name's Alexa. Oh, I see. Your shirt is telling Alexa. Hey, guess what, Fashion Nova? Alexa can't read shirts yet. Actually, I, I don't know if that's true. I have no way of knowing if that's true. Wow, some of these are so dumb that I don't even have jokes about them. I just think that they're ugly. Like, what can I say about this stay humble, hustle hard shirt, except don't buy this. A, B, C, D, E, fuck off. Like, if you want this shirt, 
Um, I hope you are enjoying being 12. Seventh grade is really fun. I'd rather have no friends than fake ones. This whole genre of stuff on the internet, like fake friends, no new friends, keep my circle small, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Do you guys have this many problems keeping friends as like this ideology seems to imply? I don't know, I like never really have beef with my friends. I feel like this isn't as much of an issue as the internet makes it out to seem. Like if you have this many issues with your friendships, common denominates of babes. Let's maybe take a step back, look at things at a macro level. Save water, drink champagne. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> v is for vodka. Girl, who is buying this stuff? My mood depends on how good my outfit looks. Okay, so you're probably in a pretty shitty mood then, huh? Oh my god, we're still selling stuff with Trap Queen on it? It's 2021! Also, I resent the fact that they did not at all try to keep this design consistent between the straight size and the plus size. Are you kidding me? Ugh, let's not do this anymore. Let's not do this. Maybe cute but annoying. Maybe cute but has bad taste. I'll give you that one. Who's wearing this? Like, who? <laughs> this is a cropped t-shirt that says trust me i don't care with a picture of angelica from rugrats i feel like i had this exact shirt when i was in fifth grade Ugh. low key psycho who looks at this and thinks yeah i'm a low key psycho i'm gonna buy this for myself this is so gauche <laughs> today's outfit an oversized t-shirt and sneakers yeah that's it just a pussy out <laughs> Just a pussy out look for today. And we're not even following the directions of the shirt. What is this? Because these certainly are not sneakers. It's right there. It's right there. Just a girl boss building her empire. The phrase girl boss makes me want to pluck out all of my eyebrow hairs. You're just a boss. Why does it need to be qualified by you being a girl? Also, most people who call themselves girl bosses are women. You're 34. <laughs> You're not a girl anything. Just a girl boss. <laughs> What do you mean just a girl boss? This women, <laughs> women are minimizing themselves too much. Don't you know that you shouldn't use the word just because it makes it seem like you're asking the other person for something too much? Oh, I'm just gonna slide in here. Just a quick question. Just something I want some clarification on. I just have one thing. No, no just. I need clarification on this. I want this. I'm doing this. I'm going to do this. No more just. You're not just a girl boss. You're a girl boss. <laughs> and you're not a girl boss, you're a capitalist. <laughs> I hate the shirt so much. Do not disturb my mind, my grind, my whole entire vibe. The color just being this horrific brown shade, the mixture of fonts between do not disturb and the rest of the shirt, the lack of period after <laughs> my whole entire vibe, my whole entire vibe. <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be funny, but oh my god, that's hysterical. These shirts that are just like, stay away from me. I'm on my grind and there's no room for you in my grind. Don't mess up my flow. Don't kill my vibe. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Stop breathing in my vicinity. Die right now. This whole genre of just like very confrontational shirts that are just like, leave me alone. Who's wearing these? I don't understand. A girl should be two things who and what she wants. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Baby. Oh my God, another one? Today's mood, cranky with a touch of psycho. Like, shut up. Oh my God. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Wow, this is terrifying. Oh my God, Megan. Megan, I know, girl. Miss Snow, Tina, you and I both know. It ain't no goddamn way. I, <laughs> hello? Miss Sabrina Majors, girl, you and I both know. Come on, I feel like I'm being lied to here. There is no way. Girl, if I put this on, it would remove itself, is all I'll say. At a point, 
it is no longer legally a bodysuit. It is a graphic tee with attached floss. These three I've queued up because they're all sort of a similar vibe. We have this tie-dye long sleeve tee that says good girl with a hood playlist. This acid wash tunic top that says 50% gang, 50% goddess. And this tie-dye olive tunic top that says hood music and fine dining. All three of these shirts are very much in the vein of like this. <laughs> thing. I'm just that girl that listens to gangster rap on the way to the farmer's market. I'm this sweet innocent girl but I also engage with media created by and for black people. Isn't that the wildest thing you've ever heard in your life? Like I'm a good girl but I listen to hood music. Isn't that just Scandalous? Women really do contain multitudes. You are in the presence of a goddess. You know, that is so wild. I actually studied Greek and Roman mythology when I was in high school, and I always thought it was really weird how in every single depiction of Aphrodite, she was wearing a Fashion Nova t-shirt, but now it makes sense. Just for funsy onesies, I'm gonna look at skirts. Um, and it's not because I want to buy skirts. Somebody's gotta wear a pretty skirt. Somebody's gotta be the one to flirt. I can't talk too much shit in this section because I have a couple skirts from Fashion Nova and I love them. She looks cold. Can we get Miss Mama a Cardi, please? Off at five, faux leather midi skirt. I love this whole genre of clothing that's sort of designed to mimic some of the lines and silhouettes you see in sort of business, casual, professional office wear. You know, categorically the most uncomfortable genre of clothing out there, but they have these design elements that make them entirely unconservative, right? They have super high slits, they're made out of fabrics that might not be the most appropriate in an office setting. They've got plunging necklines, what have you. So they look like sexier, but they're still uncomfortable. <laughs> so now you're uncomfortable and exposed. Who is in charge of picking shoes for Fashion Nova shoots? because they can't do their job well. Get me on there. I actually know someone who shoots or used to shoot for Fashion Nova and I wanna be like, hey, we went to high school together. Can you get me in that boardroom please? Cause I will make some decisions that will radically help our metrics. Namely, I won't put people in hideous shoes. I cannot tell you how many times I've made a pair of jeans into a skirt and looked at it and thought, no, I did too good of a job. I need this to look worse. I need this to look like I messed it up. She's looking at us like, I know, I know what it looks like. You don't have to tell me. I'm sorry, ma'am, your eyebrows are gorgeous. Fashion Nova seems to be trying their hardest to make their clientele look like very, very cozy superheroes. And I don't really know how willing I am to get behind it. And by the looks of her facial expression, neither does this model. She looks mad and she should be. This kind of looks like you were visiting your grandmother at a retirement home and someone accidentally spilled pea soup on your normal outfit and you decided to rip the curtains off the walls in the dining room area and just sort of tie them to your neck. This is terrible. This is what clowns wear when they're invited to sit front row at an haute couture runway show. Maybe I just need to broaden my horizons stylistically and try some things I'm not comfortable with, but I can't not wonder. When I see an article of clothing like this, translucent graffiti print black and white built in string bikini plunging neckline bodycon jumpsuit. I wanna meet the person who looks at this and is like, this is finally the piece that I was missing. Oh, model who kind of looks like Cat Graham from the Vampire Diaries. What do you think? Maybe I should buy this just to see. <laughs> Maybe this is who I am. Maybe the reason why I'm fixating on these bizarre cuts so much is because this is how I secretly wanna dress. Is that all this is? Is this just me projecting? What in the Talladega Nights Ballad of Ricky Bobby is going on here? Oh my God. See, this is my thing. I think all these ladies look great, but objectively, I also think that this jumpsuit is super ugly. Isn't that fascinating? Black women are so powerful. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this tab. Yeah, I don't know if I can take this anymore. I'm starting to feel real bad about my body. Okay, <laughs> let's shut it down. Fashion Nova does not make clothes for regular occurrences. Fashion Nova makes clothes for influencers. I understand that, but 
a girl can still dream. Sorry, a girl boss can still dream. Thank you so much for watching this video on Fashion Nova. As always, leave me places you'd like me to do window shopping videos for in the comments, and I might do them. Anyway, you know who I am. If you want to follow me on other things, do it. I have a second channel linked in the description. God, that took a lot out of me. I'm exhausted. It's 12.40 in the afternoon. I have the entire day ahead of me. I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> okay.